What's up, YouTube? It's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. Welcome to Tips and Tricks Thursday, episode number 11. Today, I'm going to show you part two of three with regards to the bus videos, the sends, the auxiliary tracks in Logic. Anything to do with sending stuff in Logic, I'm showing you a three-part tutorial. If you didn't see part one, click the little red link above. That will take you back to part one. And then um, it's a little red link at the top of the video box. Click it, it'll go back to part one. Then you can come back to part two and pick up where we left off. As you can see, this is where we left off from part one. For those of you who saw part one, and basically all we did, just a quick recap, was we set up a bus, send out a couple tracks to one auxiliary track, which is bus one. And on that auxiliary track, we had a reverb. So multiple tracks were sending to this reverb track, and we had one reverb drive the effects. So instead of putting a reverb on every track that we wanted reverb, we have one reverb track and just send multiple tracks to that to use the same reverb on our track. Now, if that's a little confusing, I might have confused myself a little bit there. We're just going to move on, and I'm sure you guys understood that even though I didn't. So let's go ahead and uh, move on with part two of three, uh, the tutorial part two of three. So we're going to go ahead and create auxiliary tracks on our own. We're not going to uh, go here and hit bus, another bus too, and then, because that's what we did in the first one, I'm going to show you another way in which you can create an auxiliary track. So if you open up your mixer window, I'm going to hit X on my keyboard. There's a little plus sign at the far left-hand side. Click it. And that is a section where you can create new auxiliary tracks or channel strips as Logic likes to call it. So we're going to go ahead and create uh, two auxiliary tracks. So I'm going to go ahead and type in two. Format, you can leave mono, stereo, surround. But in this case, I'm just going to do stereo because that's what I'm going to be working in. For the input, I'm going to start it at bus two because bus one we already are using for reverb. So I'm going to start it at bus two and I'm going to ascend it. So I'm going to make sure this is checked. What this means is that the first auxiliary track that I create will be bus two. The second auxiliary track that I'm going to create will be bus three. And if I had more, it will go on and so on. So the third one will be bus four, uh, four. The fourth one will be bus five and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and create that auxiliary track. And there it is. Logic automatically creates it both for me. So I'm going to go ahead, select the one track, and I'm going to add, let's say, a uh, let's put a delay on it. Delay. Sure, delay designer, why not? And let's just add um, a simple quarter pan, alternating pan. Sure, why not? The key thing you got to remember again, guys, is that your wet has to be 100% and your dry has to be 0% on your auxiliary tracks. This way you are using your effect 100%. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that is that, and it is. Close that. So now we're going to uh, send, let's say I want my clap. I want my clap to be sending to the delay that I just set up. So actually, we got to lame our tracks first, as always. And I'm going to go create another bus. So under bus one, there's another section I can create another bus. So I'm going to go to bus two, which is my delay, as I called it. And I'm going to send it to my delay track. Now, what I didn't show you in the last video, what's easy to do here is what I usually do is just hold down option on my keyboard, the option key on my keyboard and click in the middle of this little circle here in which we send out the volume to the auxiliary track. So hold down option and click on the middle part of that circle. What that does is that it brings it up to unity gain, which is a quick way to um, just bring up the volume, send out the volume at unity gain, instead of having to drag up and down with your mouse here. It's just a little quick way to do it. And then you can add if you want more volume or take off if you want to lower the volume a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and solo my clap. Solo the delay so I can hear it and solo my reverb so I can hear that too. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play. All right, so that's a little bit uh, too much there. So I'm just going to lower here a bit. And I don't need this to be at unity either. So I'm just going to lower that as well a little bit. Go ahead and hit play. All right, so let's just say that is good for a tutorial sake. Let's move on to auxiliary track number three, and we're going to create, um, let's put an echo here, another little uh, effect here. Again, make sure your wet signal is 100%, your dry is zero, as it is over there. And I'm going to go call this my echo track. And I'm going to send my, let's say, my hi-hats to bus number three. Now, what I like to do in... Um, I kind of encourage it for you guys to do as well, is that when you create another bus, don't put, put the same bus on the same line. So what I mean is, let's say your bus two is here, and then I'm going to go put bus three here on my hi-hat. It kind of, it's, 
it doesn't look good and if you want to go back and change something quickly tracks as a whole or mute the tracks as a whole you're going to be muting bus 3 as well and sometimes you don't want to mute all your buses so what i like to do is always leave space for my buses to be on in one line one linear line so what i have is bus 1 on one line bus 2 on the next line and bus 3 will be on the last line here now bus, bus 3 echo and don't worry, you can put as many buses as you want as your computer can handle. Logic will just keep adding them for you. So again, I'm going to hold down Option on my keyboard. Click the, in the middle of the circle to bring it up at Unity Gain. Solo my hi-hat. Solo my echo. Solo my clap so we can hear everything. And let's go ahead and hit play and hear that's how that sounds. And I'm just going to go ahead and lower it a bit because obviously Unity is too high. All right, so there's that. Let's listen to the track as a whole so far. All right, so there's that. And one more quick thing before I end off this video is let's just say I wanted to send both these tracks to bus number three and there's a very quick way to do it. You don't have to select each bus on each track. All you have to do is select both tracks by just clicking and dragging, or you can hold down shift and just click the tracks that you want. But in this case, I just want the percussion and crash. So I'm going to make sure it's selected. And you know it's selected by when it's white. Go down to here to bus three. Go to echo. It will put it on both tracks. Hold down option on your keyboard. It will bring up the volume on both tracks. And now we can take a listen to that effect on this one. All right, so that's it for part two of three with regards to the bus videos in Logic. Remember to subscribe, rate, comment. If you have any questions, put it under the video, and I will try and put it into the third video, the third and final installment of the Bus Sense video. Probably won't be the last ones with regards to this, but it is for this topic and this segment over here. So I'm going to uh, leave you guys with that. Again, rate, subscribe, comment, and as usual, watch my videos, have fun, have fun making music, and I will be talking to you soon. All right, guys, later.